So we're going to show you all the best NPC flips in combat and since the last video has done so well and it's got 80 likes within, it was like the first 11 hours that it got 80 likes, we're going to set this one to, we're going to set the goal to 150 likes because the other one's just reached 150 likes. If this can reach 150 likes, we'll do a part 4 where we're going over the wooden fishes section and finding all the best NPC flips. But let's get straight to the flips that we have found. So for the first flip, we are going to look at Undead Catalyst. So it hasn't fully filled, let's claim what we can. Oh, we've just got another one as we claimed it, but we've claimed what we can. We've spent around, let's say, nearly 200k on it. So we've claimed it all now, and we're going to be getting back around 240k. So because we only spent around, if we go up, we spent around 200k on it, we're going to be getting 40k return, which isn't bad considering it filled pretty quick, but it just didn't fully fill, and it's a safe bet. We're going to rate this one, we'll give it a 2.5, only because it didn't fully fill. If it fully filled, I believe there could have been a lot more potential. So for the next flip, we are going to look at Toxic Arrow Poison. So we've bought a thousand of this, and we've spent 1.9 million. So let's deposit everything into the bank. So now that we've deposited everything into the bank, we can see how much money we are going to make from spending 1.9 mil. And it's going to be leave us with a profit of around it's going to take about 100k. If we look at the exact, we get 80k profit from it. So considering how much money we have put into it, it's not the like an amazing flip. However, you're still getting 80k profit. It fills pretty quick because you get it from Slayers. So I'm going to give it a three out a three out of five because. It's not the most profit, however, it feels fast, it's reliable, and it's a nice little bit of 80k, so that's a 3.5. So for the next one, we're going to go to Might Gel. Here, we spent 1.9 mil again. So now that we've deposited our coins, we're going to see how much money we are going to get back from selling all of the Might Gel. So we did end up spending 1.9 mil on it, and the exact same profit as the Toxic Arrow Poison. So it's another 80k, let's deposit that. And because it's the exact same flip, we're going to just have to give it the same rank. So it's 3.5 out of 5. Right, so for flip now, we're going to go to Blaze Rod Distillate. And we claimed it for 416k. So let's see how much we're going to sell it for. We're going to get 500k back. So we're making around a 75k, 85k profit depending on the price at the time. And I'd say that's quite a nice flip. It filled pretty quickly. Uh, you're not risking that much coins and you're getting 70k back. So we're going to give it another 3.5 out of 5. So for this flip, this was quite a risky flip because you have to invest a lot. So we spent 12.6 million coins and we're going to be getting back 12.8. So we got 200k from that flip. So it's a very nice profit. However, it is also quite risky in the sense you need a lot of coins. So it's not a low entry level. However, that took a few minutes to fill, maybe maybe one or two minutes to fill. So we're getting 200k in a minute, that's quite a nice flip, it's just quite a risky flip to do. So for this flip, this flip is actually an amazing flip and I recommend it to everyone right now. It's a fly swatter. So as you can see, I bought it for 346k, just sold it for 500k. So that's 150k profit and it's it filled pretty quick and it's only one item. So for example, if you buy two, three of these, you can be making loads and the people are selling them quite often. So make sure to be buying fly swords. I'm going to rate this one a 4.5 out of 5 just because from one item flip, you can be making 150k. So I do think that's a really nice flip. So for this next one, we've got null atom. So we're going to claim it. We spent 3 million on 100 and we're going to be selling it for 3.3 mil. So that's a 300k flip. And that's an, we've got to give that another 4.5. That's a really nice flip. 300k profit in a couple of minutes just from doing this one flip, the null atom. Definitely going to be one of the best ones we've looked at. So a, a 4.5 out of 5. So next flip, we go to Mimic Fragments. Here, we spent 902k. So once we sell it all, let's see how much profit we are left with and see if it's worth it. So we've actually made 100k from the Mimic Fragments, which is really good. I was expecting a decent amount, but I wasn't expecting 100k. So we're going to give it a 4 out of 5, and it's a really nice flip for you to do. Next flip, we're looking at Soul String. So we spent 4.8 million, and let's see how much money we're going to have in the bank once we've sold it all. So from after buying a 1,000, we've actually got 200k profit, which is actually a really nice return. It wasn't that risky, and it did fill pretty quickly, so we're going to give this one another 4 out of 5. So far, comparing it to the farming and the mining sections, it looks like combat is actually going to have the best NPC flips that there is. So for this next one, it's not fully filled, it's Spider Catalyst. So we've, we've spent 25k and we are going to be getting back 94k. So that is an amazing return. It didn't fully fill, so I can't give it the full points. However, based it off of how much money you are going to make if you can get it filled, I'm going to have to say it's like a, a 3.5. Because of if you that's just 47, if you times that by 10, you're going to be making about 600-700k. 
if, if you're doing 470. So it's an amazing flip and we are going to have to give it a 3.5 out of 5. So next flip, we've got the Revenant Catalyst. So we're claiming 120, 735k. So we're going to sell it and see how much money we get back. We're going to be getting around a profit of about 200k, which is a really nice return. Fills pretty quick. It didn't fully fill though. However, basing it off of that flip alone where we're just getting 200k profit, I have to give it a 4, a 4 out of 5, even though it didn't fully fill. If it fully filled, we could have been looking at about 2 million profit. For the next flip, we've got Ender Pearl. So, as usual, you claim it, turn it into its enchanted form, like the past two episodes we've been saying. Once you do all of this, you go back to the NPC and we'll see how much money that we get. So we have spent 132k on the ender, on the ender pearls, so let's see how much we're going to profit from. So what I have just realised is you'll find out that your inventory is going to fill a lot, so you want to turn them all into absolute ender pearls as well. You won't be losing profit from this and it would just save you a lot of time. Right, so we've now got all of our enchanted ender pearls and our absolute ender pearls. We're going to sell them and don't forget we spent 132k. So we are getting back around a 50k profit. However, what you've got to keep in mind is we barely spent any coins. We spent 132k and how instantly it fills. It takes about 20-30 seconds to get 25k ender pearls and you can be doing it in buy orders of 71k. So it is an amazing flip. It's nice for an early game one and if people aren't that new, if people are quite new to flipping, this can be a really nice flip for you to get started with. So I'm going to be, for that reason, I'm going to be giving it a 3.5 out of 5. It's not obviously a late game where you can get loads of profit. However, it certainly isn't a little, like a little flip where you're not going to be making anything. So for this final flip, we've got Blaze Rod. So for this one, sadly, you've got to claim it all and then you've got to sell it to the NPC. So as you can see, we've claimed it all now. Not all of it, however, we've claimed 8.8k's worth. So when we sell it back to the NPC, let's see how much we're left. So we're pretty much going to be doubling our coins. If that, that's what that's showing us. We're getting 14, pretty much 15k back and we spent 8.8k. So if we look at that, we spend, let's say, maybe about 100k. So we're going to be getting 200k back. So it's a really nice flip. I am going to go and sell all of these now and then come back once we've made all the profit. So we have sold all of the blaze rods and we got back about 175k. So we did make a profit of around 75k because we only spent around 100k because the order didn't fully fill. But it didn't fill and it's not that much profit as I was expecting. It's still, you're getting nearly, you do nearly double your money, but it's not the amazing flip. So I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5 and that is everything for today's video. I really hope you did enjoy and we are going to do a part 4 as soon as this video hits 150 likes, which I believe we can do. So make sure to subscribe and like for future content and make sure to hit that like button. Peace.